Alright YouTubers, welcome back to World of Warships with the Angry Nerd. And this is the Tier 2 French cruiser, the Jurienne de la Graviere. Or something similar to that. I'm not French. I don't know how to speak French. But anyway, yes, the Tier 2 cruiser. And when I first picked it up, I had a real dislike for this ship. I did not like it could not do anything in the ship and I was like what can I do to make this ship better and other than just standard upgrades captain skills I was like hmm, I need captain skills so I stayed in this ship a really really long time look at the ship XP so I put a 10 point captain in this ship I didn't put in it I didn't have one I stayed in this ship until I ground out a 10 point captain so that I could get a uh, inertia fuse high explosive to see you know what the potential for this ship. nobody is gonna stick around in this ship for as long as I did it's just not worth doing but if you did stick around in the ship and put a good captain in it, you can do some significant work with this ship. Let's go over the stats right quick. Concealment. Detectability by sea, 8.7 kilometers, and by air, 5.4. Maneuverability. Max speed, 24.2 knots. Turning circle radius, 510 meters. Rudder shift time, 5.8. Air defenses, 6 times 1, 8 millimeters. Artillery, 8 times 1, 165 millimeters. They fire out to 10.3 kilometers. And hit points, 20,100. That's how uh, my stats are as I have the ship set up right now. Let's go over uh, how I have this ship set up. It's completely upgraded um, and the additional upgrade that I put on it was main armaments modification and you only get the uh, consumable so I have damage control party number two. Exterior we are using the type 5 camouflage for signals, um, Juliet Charlie, no danger of explosion. Um, Sierra Mike, undergoing speed trials, which is plus 5% to your speed. And India X-ray, which is plus 1% chance of causing fire or bombs with shells with a caliber of 160 millimeters. So, yeah, flags military month contributor so captain skills we have priority target adrenaline rush demolition expert and inertia fuse for HE shells so with this setup I have been able to make this ship perform fairly consistently getting 30 35,000 damage pretty consistently um, with this setup um, sometimes even more so let's take a look at the profile and just give you an overview of how much time I've spent in the ship and what my results have been in it so here we are the Jurian 63 percent win rate I've played 62 battles, 63 um, average XP, uh, maximum ships destroyed in one game was 5, my destruction ratio is 2.84. So 62 games played, 39 victories, 23 defeats, and I de survived 31 of the 62 games played. I've destroyed 88 warships, 77 of them 
um, with my main battery and 11 by fire so yeah this is the average you know kind of average of what we've been doing in this ship over the last 62 games so yeah it's it's really not a great ship and I really don't expect anybody to put near as much time in it as I did but uh, I was having fun but it's uh, I think it's gonna be time to move on so anyway yeah why don't we uh, hop into a game and see what kind of results we can get with the inertia fuse high explosive we're not actually hopping in a game we're gonna watch a replay and see what kind of results I was able to get with the inertia fuse high explosive here we go all right looks like we picked up polar the enemy team has a Nassau a Kwachi three I guess that's free ants Kohlberg Jurian, a Dresden, a Diana, a Novik, a Wix, and yeah, I'm not even gonna try that. That Russian destroyer. So it's a nice variety that we're uh, seeing in this match. Not a whole bunch necessarily of French. You have pretty good indication of what you can do in this ship now that everybody Battle has starts. stopped playing. You know massively all the French ships so I don't want to be like the lead ship so you even though I have the inertia fuse can't take you know a battering and the ship is kind of slow and that's why I have the speed uh, flag on it because you can get in some trouble and you can't get away from anybody in this ship so I want to have some people in front of me and that NASA looks nice to have in front of me they'll concentrate fire on that battleship if they can turning away from those. I did hit him. Let's see. 980. I think that's all we're going to get on him. He started a fire. So, we're getting a little more. Some bonus. Some bonus butt whipping right there. Okay, that Diana is pretty low health. And I'm not averse to picking on somebody help but the preant is closer Diana's out of my range and another fire I have made fire 1500 damage come on come on let me get this it's gonna be me right here there we go first blood Oh, dang, I was wanting that Diana too, but it's gone. Okay, Coburg. Ooh, 2200. Alright, he's engaging me. Not enough 
lead, but still at 1100. I think he's getting the worst of this confrontation. Oh yes, another fire. Ooh, somebody hit him. Oh, and they killed him right before my shells got there. Okay. Maybe the Nassau. Can we get the Nassau from here? Oh no. I can't turn fast enough. Almost got out of his way. Alright. Those are a little off. Oh, he's coming for me again. Dang it. Whew. Glad that didn't do much more damage than that. See if we can hit this Novak. Oh, too far. Oh, let's come over here. We got three ships pushing this flank. We'll start working on this Kawachi. Oh yes. Put another shrimp on the Barbie. Oh no. Ah, good we dodged it. Let's see if we can hit this free ant. That Kawachi put its fire out. See if we can start them back again. Come on. Not yet. Oh, took a hit from somewhere. Okay, let's get this free hand. Those were, those were pretty good, 1700. Those look pretty good, pretty good. Nice, 1100. Fifteen hundred. But I can't let him get too close, he's got torpedoes. I'm gonna start turning away. I took a good hit there. shot at the time because I'm turning and he went down to somebody else. Dang it man. Alright, back to the Kawachi. set this guy on fire again. There we go. There's the fire. Then is launching torps. Did he put the fire out? Let's see if we can hit this address. All 
right, we set him on fire. Watch, he was just going out of my range. There we go. See if we can get back in range. Need to get a little bit closer. Let's see. That should be in range. Pushing almost fifty thousand damage. Yes, fifty thousand damage in a Jurian. Oh, I shot too soon. Excellent. He burned up. He burned up. So we got that kill. Ooh, look at this Nassau. He has lots of health. You just set him on fire. That would be good too. Yes! There we go. Burn, baby, burn. Where is he at? There he is. Set him on fire again. Just barely clipping him. get a shot on the jury in here. Nope. He's not going to survive against the three ships over there. The Nassau is back and in range. he at haha -ha, there he is oh and he's gonna shoot me here it comes hold on all right could have been worse Here it comes. Oh, good, he didn't kill me. I think he's changed direction. I need to adjust my aim. Oh, 
man, I was so close to killing that battleship. Oh, man. But look at this. We received 136,946 credits, 1,625 XP with 82 free XP. We received the Confederate damage at least six enemy ships damage calls to each ship must exceed 20% of her normal HP. And we had the first blood. We did almost 70 thousand damage 69,332 damage in a Jurian with 146 target hits one incapacitation destroyed three ships and set nine fires so if you outfit this ship and your commander um, you can be successful, but no, but nobody is going to stick around in a tier two as long as I did and get a 10 point commander on it. I mean, I've, I've wanted to go up to the next, uh, ship, but you know, I just wanted to see how this thing, uh, could perform with the, um, inertia fuse high explosive and, uh, you can rack up some scores. I, I haven't racked up one like this, but I've gotten several that were, you know, over 40,000 damage, closer to 50,000. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, I did have a Kraken, but it wasn't as uh, much damage. And I thought, you know, since this is a lot of, a lot of damage, I would show this one. But anyway, let's take a look at the team score. Um, we came in second place on the team. Detailed report. Okay, we did 23,163 to the Kawachi, 6,986 to the Friant, 3,179 to the Dresden, 17,642 to the Nassau, 7,000 259 to the free ant 5203 to the coal bird 5141 to another free ant and 759 to a novak and we hit a friendly ship for three sorry about that dude accident but yeah i mean that's uh that's a good bit of damage for a tier two ship. I don't know. I, I'm impressed with that amount of damage. You're probably not, but you know, it's good for me. Anyway, if you've liked this look at the Jurian, hit that like button. If you didn't, don't subscribe if you would. But as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Nerd out.